Men are hunters. What we enjoy is the chase of the hunt. Now, after we capture you, we're okay with that. We're okay with that. But after day one, you're not captured. We still hunting for you. If you break down after day one and you're not in a serious relationship right now, I want you to start thinking about the pattern. If you break down too quick on the guy, what is it? What, what, what does he have? What does he have? See, I don't, you may not like what I'm about to tell you, but men are aesthetic. We're just aesthetic creatures. I love it when my wife gets jazzed up. I love it. Now, if I come home 15 nights in a row, which I do come home very late, and she's already in her favorite little gray sweat outfit, and that's all I'm seeing for 15 days. You know, I say something to my wife. I said, baby, we need to get up in the morning, have breakfast together, go somewhere, do something. But I, I tell her that, and she ain't got no problem. Okay, what you want to do? Because every now and then, I want to see who I ask to marry me. I don't want to come out here and bust my ass, and I don't get to see this person no more. I don't, no, no, what the f happened to who I married? What I'm out here working for, I'm busting my ass. She's the same person, but still, you can be cute for you. That's cool. But your man also needs you to be cute for him. But let me ask you something. You have something you require of your man, too. And you want it from him whether he feel like it or not now. If, if you want your man to be a certain way for you, he got to be that for you, don't he? If he don't, you're going to have a problem with him. Whatever it is, whether you want to see him dressed up every now and then, or you want to see him come home at a decent hour, or you want to see him be a better provider, whatever it is you want from him. You want him to treat your kids better, whatever it is you want. He got to do it now. I should love myself. I can love myself, and so can you. I'm not different. I'm not special, but I am deserving of love. And if you can see that, if you can see that you too deserve to be yourself and be happy today, you too could be happy in your relationships. It doesn't matter who you are, what you've been through, where you come from. You can decide today to take action and start loving your true self and embracing it. Because then, then you'll be free to love unconditionally. You'll gain the ability to gift that power to others and change every single person in your life. There would be no problem that's too big or too hard to solve. No struggle too difficult to overcome. No crisis too overwhelming not to band together and prevail. No person too broken that cannot be mended. Change, real change, simply starts with you. I know. True love. True love. You outsource most of your sanity because it's too complicated. And so what you do is... Your parents raise you to be vaguely acceptable to other people. <laughs> and then you're surrounded by other people your whole life. And then every time you go off the rails a little bit, even just a little bit, people signal to you. Like you make a joke, it's not that funny and people don't <laughs> laugh. And you think, oh, well, you know, I should probably rethink my sense of humor a little bit or pay more attention. Or mm. you tell a rambling story and you notice that everyone's like <laughs> lost in the distance. Right. And so if you're civilized enough so that people don't shun you and you have people around you then they're going to be always telling you how to not be too insane mm. well if you're alone you drift right. you drift right. you know and you'll drift in the direction of your biggest weakness mm. and so you know there are some people maybe they're introverted and disagreeable they're they're not cut out for a lot of social contact but we're social animals man right to the core sure. and and it's a sub-optimal solution for, for the vast majority of people. Mm -hmm. um, I think that people are having a harder time finding, like, let's call them more permanent relationships, is because it's become increasingly easy to have fleeting, casual, sexual relationships. I mean, mm -hmm. Tinder is a revolution, right? It's a revolution in sexual behavior, and it's certainly not obvious that it's a... Is, One it a, is it a social thing? Is it just technology? Is this what people want to be doing? Because you, th you think the it's fleeting, easier yeah, in some ways. But it, the technology has enabled this fleeting sexual. Oh, activity. definitely. Okay, definitely. And and that's. But we, we don't want to underestimate how radical a technology that is. That's right. especially, especially for men.
I do feel that deep down that all these people, men and women alike, are always longing for something more meaningful. Well, I think I think that that's generally the case. I mean, you know, part of the reason for a relationship is sexual contact, obviously. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. that's that you you don't necessarily need a relationship for that, but that's not the reason to to be with someone. The reason to be some with someone when there's a lot of them. So one is, well, kids who have two parents do far better. Period. The re- data on that is crystal clear. Doesn't mean that there aren't many single parents who struggle to do a wonderful job. Yeah. That's not the same thing. It's an average issue. So you need. Plus, it's a lot of work to have <coughs> kids. You know, you kind of need to divide up the labor. Especially in the first year or two, you know, because the woman is completely overwhelmed in the first year, and she needs somebody around to take care of her while she's taking care of the kid. Fundamentally, or at least that's the way it looks to me. So, so there's that. You need the stable basis for children, and it takes them a long time to mature, and they need to learn that relationships are trustworthy, right? Mm-hmm. So there's utility and stability there. But then also, you kind of want to tangle your life together with someone, you know, because you have someone to. Well, it's like two ropes that are tangled together. It's stronger, especially during times of weakness. And you have two brains instead of one, and that actually turns out to be really helpful when sure. things are complicated. And and it builds a solidity into your life and a and a and a reality into your life to have someone who's along with you on this very long voyage. And so I think that deepens your life in a way that isn't really possible with fragmentary relationships as a single person. Definitely. And then there's more to it than that. It's like, I think of wrestling. There's this scene in the Old Testament where Jacob wrestles with an angel. He's wrestling with God, actually, which is quite an interesting. That's what Israel means, right? Wrestling with God. Mm. Yeah, that just blew me away when I learned it. It's so is the, that true? The, the true people and of Hebrew? Israel are those who wrestle with God. Huh. Wrestle yeah, with God. it's not believe exactly. It's a whole different thing, man. It's a whole different thing. Isn't and so, it like fear from God? What it means? I, that's what I thought. Well, it did from 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 the work I did in the last couple of months looking at this, and I looked in, into it quite deeply. It does mean wrestling essentially, and it does derive from that scene in the Old Testament where Jacob wrestles with God. That's when he gets the name Israel, mm-hmm. and it, his hip is dislocated right permanently. He has a permanent limp after that. It's no joke. But I think of marriage the same way. Like people think, well, they lived happily ever after. It's like that's not what you want in a marriage. Yeah. You want someone to contend with, mm. you know, because you learn through that wrestling, you know,、sure. like you learn where you're an idiot and where you should stop <coughs> being, and and vice versa.、Yeah. So there's a that's the spiritual aspect of marriage. It's it's the fact that you have to contend with someone under all sorts of circumstances. Theoretically, is a What would you say? It's a it's a manner of promoting psychological or you could say spiritual growth, and it's genuine.、Mm-hmm. You know that's why marriage is a sacrament in most human communities, right? It's it's stamped both by the state and by the sacred authorities, because it's not just a physiological union. That's what animals do, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with the physiological union, but it it has to be placed in the context of everything else a human being is. And I do think it's dreadful for people not to have that. And do you think it's hard, it's it's become harder for people to have meaningful, lasting relationships, or has it always been this hard? I feel like、uh, I thank God that I'm not dating now because I feel like it must. Be, it's it seems like it's miserable out there right now. Well, it's to hard, try to meet people. It is hard for although you know it's easier to meet people because there's more ways of meeting them. Right. But the ways of meeting them is are more shallow.、Mm-hmm. My in my clinical practice, I would say that the rise of the internet dating option has actually overall been good for people who are looking for a partner.